Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Tuesday, October 18th, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. The Minister of Justice made a surprising proposal regarding the fight against drugs, asking for military engagement to stop drug cultivation. The minister expressed his concern about cannabis cultivation in Albania and declared that if the issue is not solved now, it will never be solved. We should have a harsher reaction than we currently have. The military should be engaged if necessary. We should leave this phenomenon now or we will never be able to depart from it. It will be too late. I do not deal with this sector, but as a person of politics and a member of the government, I am in favor of creating a constabulary, declared the Minister of Justice. The Minister of Justice declared that cannabis is entering Albania through customs points and that the state needs to intervene in order to stop the trend. The minister also commented on the suspension of the Duras judge who was in charge of the Omnix case, giving the property claimed for a foreign investment to another person. The Duras judge will have a disciplinary proceeding in the Supreme Council of Justice. This is non-negotiable. The judge should be immediately dismissed, but this is not up to me. It's the Supreme Council of Justice that will make the decision, said the minister. Only a few weeks after leaving Albania, the administrator of Omnic's company, the Lebanese businessman Fadi Mitri, returned to Albania to participate in his mother's funeral, who died two days ago. Sitting in a wheelchair, having been severely beaten under threat to abandon his investment in Albania, the Lebanese investor officially declared today that he will not come back to Albania and that his idea to invest in Jiri Ilalzit is now a closed chapter to him. The investment is now a closed chapter. Investors from Dubai and Qatar have decided that an investment in Albania will not be made. I am here today to bury my mother. I will only be in Albania for a few days and then I will leave, the Lebanese investor declared. He stated that he does not want to know what is happening with the people who beat him, that it is an issue for the Albanian authorities. The Lebanese businessman left Albania about a month ago after three people beat him, leaving him hospitalized. The Albanian police have launched an investigation into the case and declared three suspects as wanted. The prosecutor general held a meeting with local prosecutors now that the constitutional amendments are in effect. The chief prosecutor asked them to continually working normally and keep the fight against organized crime and corruption in their focus. This is the first meeting the Prosecutor General has held with local prosecutors since the constitutional amendments went into effect. Sources within the meeting told an Aura News journalist that the Chief Prosecutor has asked the prosecutors to cooperate with all law enforcement institutions in the fight against cannabis. Under the new constitutional changes, the prosecutor's roles will be restructured in their leading level and a new organization is predicted. It is also learned that a few days ago, the President of the Republic, in a symbolic ceremony, swore in three new magistrates. The High Inspectorate of Declaration and Audit of Assets and Conflict of Interest, or HIDAACI, has asked for verification from 775 prosecutors and judges, even though there is still time before the self-declaration deadline. Sources within the State Mortgage Office told Aura News that after receiving the inspectorate's request, the Mortgage Office did establish work groups to verify the lists. Even though the HIDAACI should not officially start their investigation process until after November 7th, the deadline for the self-declarations. The inspectorate will compare the data from the mortgage office with the submitted self-declaration forms from the judges and prosecutors in order to ensure that judges and prosecutors do not change their declarations at the last minute. It is learned that the mortgage office is obligated to verify the properties of judges and prosecutors every year. The HIDAACI has told the judges and prosecutors that previous year's declarations will not be considered, that they must write new declarations for every property they own. Judges and prosecutors must personally submit their self-declaration forms. 
Afterward, they will be given a confirmation document and an ID number. The Parliamentary Commission of Foreign Affairs held session today where they discussed the Albania-Kosovo relationship after Kosovo's foreign minister's recent declaration in which he said, regarding normalizing relations between Kosovo and Serbia, only Kosovo is a political player, and I believe that Albania is politically clear about this and will be more so in the future. Kosovo is an independent state and Albania is not a global actor as the EU and US are. The latter two have instruments that can impact the dialogue. During the Parliamentary Commission of Foreign Affairs meeting, opposition MP Aldo Bumci declared that he believes relations between Albania and Kosovo are in crisis because of Albania's relation with Belgrade. The chairwoman of the commission and other majority MPs declared that Kosovo's Minister of Foreign Affairs statement regarding the Prime Minister's visit to Serbia was hasty However, the statement does not violate the relationship between the two countries. The Parliamentary Commission of Foreign Affairs also discussed the CHOM issue, which has been recently in focus with politicians. The chairwoman of the commission declared, the Assembly Speaker's visit to, have, to Greece to have been excellent and that Greece has a positive will to solve past issues. The Democratic Party's General Secretary commented on the electoral system today, asserting that the opposition is open to discuss every proposal. However, according to him, based on Albania's condition, the discussion should not be focused on the system, but on political will to guarantee free and honest elections. I think political debate should not be about the electoral system, but about how to ensure free and honest elections. Free elections are important when the government is part of drug trafficking. The open list system has management problems. We need a simple system so that people can vote easily, declared the Democrat MP. The DP's general secretary says that a fair citizen representation in parliament should be guaranteed and showed support for reducing the number of parliament members. Having a parliament with fewer members would be better. Furthermore, having a parliament with two chambers would be even better. Having the Senate as a second chamber, higher than the parliament. Also, it would have been better to consider the idea that people elect the president, declared the Democratic Party's general secretary, adding that the government does not have the will to make changes that can guarantee fair representation of citizens in parliament. He also accused the majority of using any means to manipulate and buy votes. The chairman of the Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Yaka, clarified today that the Chamber of Commerce law is necessary to increase the number of services offered to entrepreneurs. In a press conference, the Chamber of Commerce chairman explained that membership costs are minimal compared to the service, services businesses will receive. Mr. Yaka gave assurance that the new law does not violate entrepreneurial freedom However, without membership, they will not receive services from the National Center of Business. The Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce also assured that the interests of entrepreneurs will be protected. The Chairman clarified that the Chamber of Commerce will put their focus in three directions. First, on restructuring the Chamber of Commerce branches all around Albania. Secondly, opening one-stop shop offices, and thirdly, on opening export offices, which will orient Albanian entrepreneurs towards exporting their products. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.